This is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I'm here today to do an, uh, an unboxing of this painting from Diamond Art Club. It's a square diamond painting as you can see from the branding here and it is called Wishing Tree. Isn't it beautiful? The artist is Yume Art and this painting came out in the anniversary celebration that Diamond Art Club had in May I believe it was this year um yeah they postponed because they um and the previous year they did their fourth anniversary celebration in April this year they did their fifth anniversary celebration as a surprise thing for us all in May because they were moving warehouse during the actual anniversary time anyway <laughs> so I did look at this painting when it came out as part of that and I was very tempted but I had already made some purchases of things that I wanted just a tiny bit more so I ended up turning this one down on that occasion um, but shortly afterwards I was able to pick it up very very cheaply on a D-Stash group so that is why I have this it's 50.8 by 101.6 centimeters so it is pretty beastie I've got to say the only thing is if I'm going to work on a really big long one it's quite nice if it's at least not too wide um, because then that's a lot easier to manage on my easel so I would prefer 50.8 by 101 to say a 70 by um I don't know whatever 92 or something in terms of ease of working on it but that that's just a me thing and the way it fits on my easel basically I'm daunted but not too daunted <laughs> by the size you may art is an interesting one for me they're an incredibly popular artist with with diamond art club um and I have several and really really like them but there's quite a few that aren't my style so I know some people like to collect them all and I'm I suppose I'm lucky that I don't really feel the need to do that um because there's a lot that I just I wouldn't personally work on but there are a lot that I really do feel drawn to now I'm just checking to see if there's a small sticker um because I bought this on D-Stash it had been opened already um it's the first time I've looked in it but yeah that is not in there but that is absolutely fine I'm going to take a look at my toolkit oh <laughs> everything's come out right so <laughs> may as well show you while they're out and about um so there's two plates of um pink heart-shaped wax that you get in a little caddy to keep it fresh um, you get with every Diamond Art Club kit you get um, all of these things in fact apart from the tweezers which you're only getting rounds but anyway you get a four and a seven placer made of the thin white plastic that's very nice and easy to use I use those a lot you get a pen and matching squishy comfort grip thingamabob you get a tray and stopper this often comes as a loose bit of plastic in the kit. But that's what it's for, it's a stopper for the end there. You get a little roll of baggies, useful when kitting up or kitting down, depending on how you do that. And some washi tape. Another nice one to add to my collection. And then last but not least, the cover minder. I love these roses. I have several of them in different colors, but I do not have this green one yet. So that's really cool. Cover minders, if you're not sure what they are, they have a magnet on the back and they help you to hold the plastic cover out of the way of where you're working. You pop this on top of the plastic cover where you want it to be held in place. You put this on the back of your painting, they connect through it and jobs are good and Right, let me get those cleared away. Okay, time to have a peek at my painting. Now, I'm not going to be able to show it to you all in one go, um, but I will show you as much as I can. So, I've still got the Tips and Tricks book in here, um, which is a thank you for your purchase leaflet that has tips and tricks. As I said, it has social media links, it has discount codes, all sorts of good stuff. So, if you purchase from Diamond Art Club for the first time and you'll get one of these in your painting, do take a look. And here is my sticker sheet. 
only 47 colours. That's interesting. Normally with these big huge paintings I'm getting used to having loads and loads of colours to deal with. It's quite nice to have a slightly more moderate number of colours for a change actually. And I suppose looking at the image, which you can see a bit more clearly here than you could on the box, it does have a very distinctive colour palette doesn't it? I'm guessing there's going to be big big bags of these sort of teals and, and blues and greens that make up these sections. Um, but yeah, very pretty. As you can see on here, all those lovely colours and I recognise some DMC numbers that I always particularly enjoy because teal and that sort of bluish green shade is a colour that I really particularly enjoy. Ooh, special drills too. So, three AB colours that have a DMC under 150. So it looks like a yellow, a green and a white. And then at the bottom, Z3776, that will be a fairy dust drill. Um, I'll show you those in a bit. They have a nice glittery topping. And L, I can't quite remember what L stands for. Is that some sort of crystal drill maybe? I will have a look. But I guess that is going to be making this section glow. Oh, I want to have a look now. Right, I'm going in. I'm getting braver about taking these out of the bags, <laughs> even though I really hate battling them back in. But I want to have a proper look. And I see some crystals. Here we are. That's what that L stands for. Those are crystal drills. Now I can't remember what Diamond Art Club calls them because they do have their own name for them. I think they might call them iridescent drills. But yeah, you can see how nice those are going to be there. And then there is one of the ABs. That's one, two, nine. A nice pale, pale buttery yellow. And it's got this extra coating on the top to make it glittery. And then there is my fairy dust drill. Now this is harder to pick out on the camera. So I'll bring it right up close. And can you see there's just a sort of glittery tone to the top of the drill. They're like a cross between a normal drill and an AB drill, I think. It's, it's much more subtle as an effect than an AB drill. So I'll be interested to see where those are going to be in the painting. And then let me see if I can find, so there's the white AB, pretty standard, those are in a lot of paintings. Oh, and there is the green. So not huge bags of any of those, but there were two bags of the iridescent drill, so loads of those going to be in there. Okay, I'm not going to go through all of the rest of them, but just as you can see here, We've got lots of blues, lots of greens, lots of teals. Um, I mean, this colour round the back here, there's four big fat bags of 803, for instance. So if you like blues and greens, it's a good painting for you. Not so much if you're not gonna enjoy working with those colours. Okay, let me put these away. Right, time to look at my canvas. I'm going to roll it back on itself and then just show you as much as I can and then have a good pan over it. Because it's going to be really long. to even do this. Okay, let me show you the bottom part. I can't even see it all in one go because I don't have space on my table. But that is stunning already. Ooh, I really do like blue. So this appeals to me. A good mixture of confetti and colour blocking. There are definite small blocks of colour but also I see quite a few bits of chopping and changing between different colours in your drill tray. Moving further up. You can see the next section. And you can just tell, can't you, before I even tell you <laughs> that those iridescent drills are going to be all through this area. 
I'm going to pick them out a bit more closely for you in a bit, but just trust me, they are everywhere. And also a lot of the other ABs. I think this, this section is just going to glow. It's going to be stunning. And then I'll show you right up to the top. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of taking back what I said about confetti and colour blocking because I think this is a kit that tends far more towards confetti. The colour blocking sections are small and particularly as you get into this section, this is really quite confetti heavy. It's going to take a while to get through. But I just can't imagine how stunning that effect's going to be. It's going to be so worth it. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to pan over it and give you a closer look at it. And then I'll come back and try and pick out where some of those special drills are, as best as I can fit it. Okay, so first of all, um, the ABs are codes one, two, and a dot. So I can see lots of ones scattered through this section. Bearing in mind that's a yellow one, that's exactly what you'd expect. And I can see lots of white dots all over the place too. They're often together. Looking further down, looking for that green two. That's okay. There's a lot of that down here. Bear in mind, there weren't huge bags of any of them, so none of them are going to be that commonly spread through the painting. But I see quite a bit of twos in this section at the bottom here, and a little bit more in the bottom section down there. Sorry, I'm struggling to manipulate the painting to show you. And then I'm looking for code C, and then those two dots for the other special drills. So the C, as I said before, that iridescent diamond is all in all these bursts of light. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe how good that's going to look. What an excellent rendering choice to put that in crystal drills. And then the two dots, the brown two dots. So that was a sort of brownie colour, wasn't it? I'm just checking at the bottom. I don't see any down there. So... That one is scattered through all of this section. So it's being used as a sort of a kind of bronzy colour, I suppose, given that it's a kind of brownie colour with a bit of glint to mix in with all the gold shades in the tree. It's going to look like just absolute, absolute jewels, isn't it? Oh, gorgeous. So yeah, there you have it. That is Wishing Tree by You May Art. It's absolutely stunning. I think I, I like it even more than I thought I would um, now I'm looking at it. And that's often the case, isn't it? You don't always know. Um, and I'm glad that I got a chance to pick it up for such a good price because otherwise I might not have bought this one. But I think it is well worth having in my stash. So thank you for watching today. I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you have, please consider dropping a like on, on the video and subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more content like this. And I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye.